today we are going to discuss manufacturing in any company a company which does the business basically a company which does the business two types the company itself manufactures the item and maintains the maintains the stock kind of make to stock scenarios it manufactures it make a stock it makes a stock then whatever the stock available based on that it sells the item to the customer in the process we have a company which does the business if it is having manufacturing unit it manufactures else simply it buys the product company buys the product buys the raw material or sub assemblies or finished goods then it will sell the item to the customer whenever a company maintains a manufacturing unit a manufacturing unit will be having different machines and each machine works for some hours each machine works for some hours to manufacture the finished good when a machine works for hours also we would require resource a man labor worker we call it as we would require worker right if you have worker then that is also resource worker is also resource human resource whereas machine which is an asset which is an asset which works for some hours every employee works for some hours nobody can work for 24 hours if you take human resource human resource works for 8 hours or 9 hours or 12 hours we have different concepts working hours and a company maintains different shifts basically we would require under particular schedule our resources will be working in an organization if you take any company it's a manufacturing unit manufacturing company which maintains all the machinery then all the resources and each resource works for certain hours even after completing those hours then again another person will be continuing to work continue to work for next couple of hours like you have concept of calendar in which a day called as 24 hours can be split into three shifts two shifts if one shift equivalent to 12 hours 12 hours then definitely you will be having two shifts in case the labor the worker works for eight hours then you will be having three shifts six to two two to 10 10 to 6 again totally we have 8 hours 8 hours 8 hours 3 shifts means means each shift each shift is 8 hours if i say each shift 12 hours then you have two shifts every employee or a machine will be working for hours under shifts and those shifts working hours which represents work, work, working hours is a part of calendar that is called workday calendar we call it as very important question what is workday calendar we have workday calendar in which we have different shifts every day is having shifts and working hours if you see here let us go to application let us go to bills of material in which we have set up we have calendars this calendar is nothing but our inventory working workday calendar we know the workday calendar from where you will come to know what is the what is our calendar what is the name of calendar do you know that we have workday calendar if you don't know the name 
we have to go to inventory we have to go to inventory in which we have setups then we have organizations and we have calendar the same calendar just now i open if you want to know the calendar name then we have to go to organization parameters where we are going to link the workday calendar after definition of the calendar if you take any organization when you open the organization parameter this is the calendar name let us take how it has been defined let us see that this is the workday calendar now I copy it now let us go to calendars the same calendar you either you can go from bills of material or, or inventory go to calendars f11 query the calendar this is the calendar this is quarterly type you can see what is quarterly type very important question have you defined your calendar then what is quarterly type we have four by four by five week pattern five by four by four week pattern calendar months 13 periods 4 by 4 by 5 week pattern means if you take one year 12 months out of 12 months if you want to split into three parts tell me first part consists of four months four months four months totally 12 months so we have three parts here 4 by 4 by 5 when you say three parts one is having four months, another one is having four months, another one is having four months, totally 12 months. When you have four months, if I say quarter, one quarter, we have week pattern here. If we take how many quarters we have, we have four quarters. If you say four quarters, each quarter consists of three months means each month having four weeks if i say each month is having four weeks if i say each month is having four weeks i told you already quarterly means we have how many quarters we have four quarters when you have four quarters each quarter consists of three months when you take three months let us take january february March. when you take these three months now tell me if i say one month consists of four weeks how many days you are including if i say one month one month means how many days somebody says 30 somebody says 31 somebody says 28 then if i say four weeks equal to one month is it correct it's wrong when i say four weeks four seven ja, it is 28 28 days equivalent to one month yes it is for february what about remaining months if i say one month equal to four weeks is it correct no then how to split each quarter how to split each quarter already i told you quarter means three months in each month if i say four weeks it's not equivalent to 31 days or 30 days or 28 days it's not fulfilling one month when i say four weeks it is fulfilling four weeks 28 days it's not fulfilling 30 days neither 30 days nor 31 days if that is the case how can we split the week pattern if i say if you take first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter first quarter let us say january february march in january we have 31 days if i say four weeks then 28 days over then february how many days 28 days but already you left january how many days 29th 30th 31st three days means when you say 28 days there is no day left in february so three days are there extra now four by four four weeks january over four weeks february over but three days left extra now the third month that is match if i say four weeks 
again 20 days what is march 31 days again these three days plus extra three days already left from january so totally six days if i say last month at least last month or first month of the quarter if i consider at least five weeks then what happens exactly it matches exactly it matches so that is the reason 4 by 4 by 5 means if i say out of one quarter if you have three months in which first month or last month if you consider five weeks then your count equals to all the days that was the reason this concept has come 4 by 4 by 5 week pattern means january february month which month which which week you want to january february month uh, march in the january how many weeks you would like to 4 by 4 by 5 week mean first quarter 4 months in january 4 weeks in january 4 weeks in february 5 weeks in march that counts all the days similarly next quarter means what again april may june again you will be having 4 by 4 by 5 or 5 by 4 by 4 you see 5 by 4 by any any one of those one one of those one month one month one of those months uh, if you if you decide one month equivalent to five weeks then all the count equals to all the days of one year 365 days so that is how we are going to decide what is quarterly type quarterly type quarter means we have three months three months three months like that we have four times that is called quarter then we have calendar months what is calendar months 12 years or oh, sorry 12 months means we have 12 months and one adjustment period will be there when you have one adjustment period that is called 13 periods when you are having yearly calendar january to december that is called calendar months that's it so when you say calendar is very important part and when you are going to have from and to date you have to make sure this to date is active if it is below today's date then your calendar is set to be disabled when it is future date so 2016 means future date then it is active then let us come to workday pattern if you click workday pattern 10 sequence 5 off 5 on 2 off means what 5 days working days 2 days are off that is saturday or sunday or friday or saturday if it is middle east then they they use it to have weekend on friday and saturday similarly other countries we have saturday and sunday so that is all anyway five working days two app days let us close this now go to shifts how many shifts you are going to have we have three shifts first shift second shift third shift what is times you know what are the times first shift we have times 7 to 3 o'clock or 6 to 2 p.m 2 to 10 or 3 to 11 so 11 to 7 or 10 to 6 like that we have the timings here we have to define workday calendar is very important if you have manufacturing or uh, distribution or whatever it may be it is coming from either inventory or from bills of material but both are same that somewhere you have to define it's bill that bill of material bills of material either bills of material or inventory you have to define first shift second shift third shift and first shift so you can have dates also now if you go to dates see we have whole month first to 30th the month is april month which is having 30 days so then what happens out of one then what happens sunday is off saturday is off if you make saturday on how to exception on if you want to declare 21st as off that is off you see when you click that turns to you know sunday and saturday we know holidays it is half day so when you click on any of those days working days half means any pongal comes sankranti comes on 22nd then of course usually it comes on 14th or 15th of january so if you want to make 14th off you have to if you want to make 14th off day then definitely you can click on that so that that is how whenever a company is having holidays they are going to work on calendar and they are going to declare much prior to the month like if you are reaching to may day let us say may 1st by this day everybody might have 
uh, disable this date like May 1st. May 1st might be Monday to Friday. Even then, it's a working day, they make it off day. So, off day. That is how, after saving the work, you have to click on exception on, on any working day. If you want to make any working day as an off day, then you have to click on exception on. Then, then what happens, you know, what are the changes you have done to the calendar? Now you have defined everything. If you save it, it won't work. Simply saving will not work. You have to, after saving, you have to go to tools, build the calendar. When you build the calendar, when you build the calendar, then only it runs a concurrent request. I will show you now. See the message. If you do some changes and you are not running that build from tools, then what happens, you know, if changes have been made to the calendar, since it was last build, then rebuild the calendar for changes to take effect. It's very important. You have to rebuild the calendar for changes to take effect. That is very important. Now, click OK. I want to, I want to show you how to run that concurrent requests. Let us take this calendar. So let us think that we changed something, exceptions or whatever it may be, I told you. Simply, I am not going to change. Now, go to tools, build it. When you build, submitted request. Now, what is the request has been submitted? Let us see. Close this. What is that request? View, request, fine. See, build work the calendar. This is very important request. If you run this, then only whatever the changes you made that will work. Otherwise, it won't work. Now, close this. It is very important. It says a part of setup. But I discussed why because already you completed an inventory. I want to know whether really you know about the calendar or not because you are going to use the workday calendar in manufacturing. If you are not having workday calendar, that means you cannot utilize manufacturing. That's it. As simple as this. Now, let us go to manufacturing. If you want to do the manufacturing, first of all, let us see that transaction. We have sales, we have procurement, we have counting methods and all those things. In order to cycle, cycle, what is order to cash cycle? What is procure to pay cash? Uh, procure to pay cycle? It is common question. It is the common question, you know, interview, whenever you go for interview. If your interviewer has not prepared very well with questions, simply ask one question. Tell me about yourself. Then, can you tell me which, which modules you are comfortable? Then he, you would say some supply chain management, manufacturing or order management, purchasing, inventory, whatever it may be. Then he would say, how do you rank out of supply chain management modules you would say inventory 9 purchasing 8 order management 7 then he starts with inventory so if you say all equal i am uncomfortable with all the modules like 8 out of 10 then he starts with anything okay because he doesn't know the questions he didn't remember you want to recollect the questions the moment you say you start telling the scenario then I will ask simple question because I don't know any question. Then I will ask the candidate, tell me how to cash cycle. And then you start with. When you start, he searches some questions from your inputs. When you say something from that input, he will, he will recognize some questions and he will re he recapture some questions and report the question. This is how the interview goes. Now, if I ask you what is order to cash cycle, then how do you say? Simply somebody says, sales order, book it, pick it, ship it, invoice it. Is it the cycle? If you say like this, nobody agrees. You have to elaborate. How? Out of the cash cycle, we have two scenarios. With quotation, without quotation. Directly go, to, go ahead with the sales order. In case, with quotation, customer approaches then he basically he inquires about the requirement what is the item he would require what is the price what is the quantity when can you ship the item when a customer asks the sales guy or pre-sale guy 
it checks whether the items are available because you have to promise to the customer in this process it will check the new inventory on hand quantity if on hand quantity exists yes you can come immediately and you can collect the items if not you have to schedule it means we may not ship the item directly or right away but we would require certain time because as per the system which suggests by so and so date if you have planning engines you have advanced supply chain planning always suggests when the item can be available we have lead times what is lead time what is the time you would require to provide that to avail that item for shipping to the customer what is the time you would require you may require five days four days three days if you go to i told you i already i gave the example if you go to showroom and you want a car he would say you come by so and so date why is giving date by the time he has some work he will be completing those formalities and gets he get ready with the vehicle then calls the customer to collect the vehicle by coming to the showroom that's called lead time here also we have auto to cash cycle customer approaches inquires and we give the schedules if he agrees we we prepare a quotation that quotation will be approved from us and that will be accepted by the customer when a customer accepts that code becomes sales order you can create a sales order with the same customer bill to ship to and what kind of order type you have and we have order information line information what is the item what is the quantity what is the price everything you confirm and book the order when you book the order schedule ship date is very important system schedules the order and it gets ready with the date and by the date the item should be available if it is manufactured item then you have to intimate to the manufacturing department saying that there is an order against this order you have to manufacture if you want to manufacture there should be a work order then create work orders from the sales department means directly you can create work orders from the sales then in case there is no stock you are going to manufacture against the order then make to stock make to order it is called make to order mto when there is an order against that order we are going to manufacture then we are going to intimate to the manufacturing department saying that i would so and so customer would request so and so quantity of items then we are going to create work orders from the order management which will create work orders in work in process we have to find out the work in process work orders and we have to complete that's what we are going to learn today but let us say manufacturing completed and we have the quantity now sales order simply if it is make to stock scenario item is available there is no manufacturing at all simply item is available so you have to pick it how to do that you have to do, go for shipping transactions we have to do the pick release pick release what it does it creates move order which is request to the store so that remove order to be approved and taken to the store store transfers the material from main store to the staging this is called pick release the moment you complete the pick release there should be a delivery because without delivery you cannot ship confirm you have to make a delivery there are some legal documents to be printed at the time of picking and the time of shipping so a delivery should be required to ship the item to the customer then you make a delivery against that delivery note we are going to load the vehicle and items are going to be shipped to the customer ship to location the moment you ship confirm item will be depleted from the inventory so when it is completed sales order status changes to close line status changes to closed but order header status will be booked only when you ship it lines are eligible in case these are interface to air module so you will go for air module and invoice against the shipped items only then invoice is created then cash will be received from the customer so this is called out order to cash cycle whenever you say this flow you know you cannot whenever you go for interview if you start with scenario you will not end up with the scenario why because you mean well it disturbs he stops you he will question you that's it that is how if you can answer interview goes fine to one hour otherwise it stops that's it you will be failed 15 minutes 20 minutes it does that's it you will decide that you are a fake candidate or you didn't you didn't work really you couldn't answer what you are claiming that you are having an experience of three to four years, but you didn't really didn't work. 
this is how it goes similarly procure to pay if i say procure to pay what is procurement here we are discussing manufacturing why we are discussing order to cash i told you manufacturing uh, manufacturing job should be created from order if it is make to order scenario similarly procurement what you are procuring you are procuring raw material without raw material can you manufacture no at all not at all so when you are procuring you are procuring raw materials when you procure that means there should be a demand which asks for which asks for some items if those items are not available in the inventory then only a requisition or purchase order has to be created again against which we are going to receive the item to the inventory if manufacturing there is no raw material are you going to conduct the manufacturing process no if tires are not not there then how can i manufacture car if engine is not there how can i manufacture the car if steering wheel is not there bearings are not there brakes clutches nothing is there then how can i manufacture i have body i have tires tire and body has been arranged does it mean that it is a car no what do you require all the raw materials are required sub assemblies are required then only you are going to assemble then you are getting the finished good item then in the manufacturing are you going to manufacture the tire if tata motor is selling the car does it mean that it is going to manufacture the tire there is no tata tire they are going to buy mrf tire that means they are going to buy to manufacture a car they would require buy they would require purchased items what are those purchased items you are going to buy then tell me what is procured to pay if your company is manufacturing industry so manufacturing industry which creates a job what is job work hard what is work hard to start one particular manufacturing i manufacturing item in manufacturing they are going to start it if they want to start it production first of all they should have work hard if there is no work hard nobody starts to work when there is a work hard then there is a finished good against that work hard what you are going to manufacture car car to manufacture car what do you require that is there in the system from bills of material it is coming from bills of material it is coming by default what material is required to manufacture a car tires engine brakes clutch chassis body deck system stereo system lights lamps wipers spoiler what else you would require everything so are those items available if not available when you create a work order which demands how many items are required if your work order meant for 100 cars then how many tires are required 100 multiplied by 4 tires 400 tires are required to manufacture 100 cars whether those 400 items are available in the inventory if not let us say item items are available only 100 then what about remaining 300 that means system is going to be act intelligent you know the it uses intelligence based on the setups and says that yes there is a requirement there is a demand of 400 items but there is a stock of 100 items and there is a shortfall of 300 items and what is the minimum quantity to be maintained in the stock if that is 500 and there is no quantity only 100 500 minus 100 400 to be procured but after getting 400 immediately there is a demand of 300 that demand also to be considered 400 plus 300 means 700 items to be procured that is what we we call it as min max planning in the organization item we have planning general planning in which you might have selected min max planning when you select min max planning minimum quantity maximum quantity to be maintained when you maintain minimum quantity maximum quantity system always checks the honey and quantity available is it less than the minimum quantity or maximum quantity if it is less than minimum quantity then system has to trigger a requisition for maximum quantity when system triggers to maximum quantity that is 100 to let us say 1000 100 is the minimum 1000 is the maximum system creates a requisition for 1000 if there is a demand 1000 plus demand in this example if min max minimum quantity is 100 maximum quantity is 1000 there is a demand of 400 items but on hand the availability is 100 400 minus 100 300 is the demand 300 plus minimum quantity how much 
you would require and minimum quantity is already less than 100 so you are going to buy 1000 items what is the demand you add it all together winmax planning is going to calculate and it is going to rise the requisition 1000 plus 300 1300 then requisition will be approved requisition has to be converted as purchase order purchase order you have to consider shipments distributions so when the moment you say shipments interviewer may ask what is receipt routing where do you set up in the shipments we have more tab in which we have direct standard inspection required two-way three-way four-way what are these match approval levels so these things question will be question will be raised then you have to answer you are not answering then interview is over so you, let us say you answered everything what is distribution in distribution what is the mandatory thing you are going to enter that is what distribution account charge account what is the importance of charge account you know that you have purchase order line item shipment you entered against shipment we have multiple distributions we have purchase order line one line quantity having 100 requirement but shipment you have 250 and 50 or 75 and 25 quantities but all the shipment quantities together should be equivalent to line quantity that is 100 when you have shipments of two lines and each line should have multiple distributions or one if it is a one shipment line one shipment should have at least one distribution in which there is a charge account what is the importance of charge account you know that whenever you are buying ultimately what is the destination account when you receive the item from the supplier where you are keeping where you are keeping in the inventory in the inventory what is the destination account in which account should i put the value of that item quantity multiplied by the unit price totally how much for how much you spend for how much you bought it that much value to be kept in one particular account that account is called charge account that is called destination account when you enter the distribution shipments and lines and you approve it when it has been approved you have to receive it from supplier you make a receipt pure receipt in which you are going to enter what is the item how much quantity you are going to receive then save it got the receipt number against the receipt number you are going to receiving perform the receiving transaction you perform the receiving transaction where you are going to deliver the item to inventory inventory means uh, there is a sub inventory sub inventory means there is a locator if the item is locator controlled you have to enter what is the sub inventory and what is this locator and what how much quantity you are going to if it is lot controlled you have to enter what is the lot number if it is serial number you have to enter what serial number you received like this you are going to inventorize the item into the inventory now let us say you inventorize the raw material there is a customer to buy the item now come to the manufacturer i have manufacturing module work in process when you go for work in process first of all for sales you should have sales order for purchase you should have purchase order for manufacturing you should have work order that is called discrete job there is a discrete job you see let us see the existing job then we go for new job i'm going to complete the transaction let us see what are the jobs in most let us say i know one job number existing job number you can take from the list of value i know the number so i am going directly going to that okay this is one job number so simply find like you find sales order by number purchase order by number requisition by number so similarly discrete job is also having a number so if this is the job and what is the item this is assembly this is nothing but item assembly is nothing but item so what is the description this is the description okay this is actually fabric a kind of tarpaulin we call it as right tarpaulin it's a kind of you know that material there is a process we have different machines and first weaving machine which makes a cloth that cloth will be mixed with a plastic coating then what happens it tarp it becomes tarpaulin and based on that whatever the color you would require white color black color red color whatever it may be based on that that will be run on one particular machine which colors that particular fabric finally you get the end product rolls that fabric will be rolled you know that right all the fabrics will be rolls so how what is the length of that roll based on that length will be measured by yards how many yards how many meters 
So this is the item code. This is the item code. Let us take this. This is the item. Then this is the job number. Now, whenever you create a job, then when you are going to start, how much quantity you are going to manufacture? I want to manufacture this many, thousand one eighty. Now start on so and so date. Now, as per the setup, we are going to get all the details of what material is required to manufacture this item from the components. There is a setup already. We are going to discuss after transaction setup. So, for to make this item, what are the components you would require? That is there in the, at the components, which is coming from the setup of bills of material for particularly this item. For for this item, there is a bills of material which done that. These are the items you would require, and this is the operation you would require. What are the operations? To manufacture one item, you would require certain operations. For example, car. When you go for car. We we have fabrication, after fabrication, chassis making, after chassis making, you have to wheel alignment. We have to make a wheel alignment. We have to fix the wheels. Then body building. Then you arrange the engine and steering wheels, clutch, brake, and everything. And after that, after body building, you have to paint it. Yeah. After painting, you have to test it. When you test it, if it passes, then only you are going to inventorize. Then you are going to sell to the customer. In this, the first one is fabrication, which is tenth operation. Next one is chassis making, twentieth operation. Third one is body building, that is thirtieth operation, in which again assembling all the and fortieth operation we have painting, fiftieth operation testing, test drive. 60th operation delivery to the inventory then 70th operation of course there is no 70th operation it's inventorized means that is final so similarly we have 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 to 70 70 to 80 we have such operations and each operation to be conducted at one particular department department code we are going to see as a part of setup what is the what are the operations what is the department all these things we are going to see in this department is going to be this operation is going to be completed first and this item is required to perform this operation then when you complete 80th operation you are going to get the product at the same time how much quantity of this item is required this item is required this item is required that's what you can see from the quantities to make this item this assembly I would require at this operation how much quantity this much is weight LB means pounds so how many what is the quantity you would require this is the point per assembly for one for making one car you would require four tires per assembly four tires will be there like that if you take this is tire and this is the car then it will be four per assembly okay so when it is per assembly this much okay required how much because our required quantity is job quantity there is a job quantity of 1180 then where is a when there is a job quantity of 1180 for making one assembly you would require 0 0.405 then to make 1180 how much quantity this is the quantity you would require when you complete the transaction this is the closed already okay this job is completed that was the reason you would require 400 477.9 quantity but actually you have consumed 650 whatever is the extra required one and issued one issued is actual it is standard you would require from based on this setup when there is a based on based on setup you have you would require some quantity 500 but issued is to say 6, 650 means 150 is the variance it is very important question whenever you go for manufacturing so how the variance is going to be calculated it is simple what is standard what is actual actual means standard any deviation that goes to variance to manufacture car i would require four tires you consumed six tires then what is the variance two tires multiplied by the cost of that item that value goes to variance account that's it as per standard you would require some quantity but you actually consumed more than that and whatever the more quantity you consume that is multiplied by the cost of that particular item gives the variance value okay now this item how much i would require this much but what is supply 
from where it is going to be this has to be supplied from which sub inventory we are going to indicate that as per the setup where the whatever the sub inventory you indicated in the setup that is going to be defaulted here so the type is, is very important supply type is very important question what are the supply types and types available we are going to discuss that first let us see the transaction okay now let us go to the transaction it is for to make this item this item we have this job and we have how many operations these are the operations 10 20 30 40 50 what are these operations if you go to description first one is setup you are setting up the machine then coding then setup then coding because each one is a different machine whenever you are setting up first machine setting up running after completing you go to another machine then run means what first setup it is first machine is running first setup first machine you are setting up and you loaded the raw material then you run it you get a fabric that the fabric take the fabric and go to the 30th operation where you would require another machine and that machine will be loaded with this whatever the finished good that has come after 20 okay after 20 then you load here then run it you'll get another item and that item you have to take to another machine set up again and run it then again next machine set up like that you know you have set up coating set up coating and everything you know whenever you run on first machine you get some item the same item you will be taking to another machine and run with some coating and whatever the item you got it and again you take to another machine then run for some time and you get some other item and take that item and again you go to another machine then run for some time and you get another item finally inspection what are the item you got at the end of 80th operation then inspect it is it fine then inventorize that's it so 10 to 90 operations 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 you have 10 to 90 operations you have to complete one by one operation and to reach final operation that is called inspection inspection where quality people will check whether the item which has been manufactured meeting our standard requirements our quality specifications if it's specifications are met then definitely we are going to treat it as a grade item or first class item then inventorize and sell to the customer who have required now we have operations at each operation i told you one machine second machine third machine fourth machine and you are running for certain time first machine if you go to resource, I told you, at operations, you would require resources, either labor or machine, or worker or machine. Both are resources. Machine is an asset. Worker is a resource, human resource. That's it. Human resource works for certain hours. On machine, machine works for hours and produces the item. In this process, we have first one, if you go to resources, M indicates machine. We have given name like this, you know. M indicates machine, L, mind, L indicates labor, worker. Okay. When it is lot basis. Yes, lot basis means what? A machine runs for hours, not for second. When machine runs for hours, it produces lot of items, lots of items. That means whatever the machine run for, let us say, two hours to complete whatever the material you loaded into machine till it completes that material whatever the material has been prepared by the end of operation that is having one lot number one lot number that means whatever the material you use you used to make one particular item by running continuously for two hours so and what of the end product you got it that is manufactured that is how what is the importance of lot we discussed already a car will not be manufactured for one hour in the manufacturing plant some cars some number of hundreds of cars will be manufactured within hours that means on the same day you manufacture hundreds of cars what of the date and you manufacture on the same date will be having one lot number then all those lot numbers will be tracked whenever you are selling that those items there is a lot number serial number and everything will be tracked so customer takes the item with certain lot different customer takes the different lot numbers 
But whenever a customer gets some problem in the car, then he gets back to showroom saying that this is the complaint. Then he checks, technician, he checks, what is the problem? Is it manufacturing defect? Then lot plays very important role here. When there is a manufacturing defect, what is the lot number of this particular car? Okay, this is the lot. Then, what of the car we sold if it is manufacturing defect to different customer? What of the car you sold to different customers? What of the cars having the same lot number? Because lot number means what? Same number having for same number is there for different items. Serial number will be unique, but lot number will be one, but having different items. So, what of the car has been sold to customer having a lot number of this same? whatever repaired lot we got it from the customer return that item what is the lot that lot you have to find out and recall all the cars which is having same lot and repair it and send back this is how there is a huge call back in europe from volkswagen or maruti car maruti company has recalled 10000 cars in particular region that is how that happens if there is a defect, is it is this manufacturing defect? Then or what is the lot of that particular item? Okay, that lot consisting of how many items? Thousand items. Out of thousand, how many items have been sold to customer? Five hundred. Can you call those five hundred items so that because this lot is manufacturing defect, so the same lot number which has been assigned to different five hundred items? What about 4, 499 items? Get all those items because it's manufacturing defect. We have to check, recheck that defect. That defect to be rectified. Then we again we have to ship it. This is how recall happens. Now, quantities. See, what is quantity? This machine works for 0.5. Means what? Half an hour. 0.5 means what? 50%. 50% means what? 50% of hour. Have you observed what is the unit of measure of that particular resource? Hours. HR. What is HR? Hours. It's not by quantity. Resource always will be measured by hours only. For how many hours the resource worked? For how many hours the machine has run? Then 0.5 equal to 0.2 sorry 2 what is 2 you don't know sometimes this value sometimes you know this value what is this what is the value you enter here 1 by this is equal to 2 if you don't know this and you know this and if you enter 2 1 by 2 how much that is 0.5 either sometimes you know this sometimes you don't you know you don't know this but you know this because what? For one hour, how many items will be produced? It is a lot basis. Lot basis means can you capture one machine runs for one hour? How many how many items are produced? We don't know exact figure. Okay, so we have the concepts of what exactly you would require. Machine runs for one hour to produce one lot or two lots or three lots. What is the value you know that? That value you have to enter. When you enter something, the inverse will be calculated. What is the use of inverse you know? Inverse, when you inverse 1 by 2 equivalent to 0.5, but 1 by 3 1 by 3 equivalent to what? Can you say 0.3? No, because 0.3333333 something is there continuously infinitive, right? If that is the case, to what extent I can take the value? If you want to manufacturing, how much quantity is required to manufacture this item? If it is a 0 0.3, I mean 1 by 3. Can you get me the exact value? But in inverse, 1 by 3 is equal to 0.33334 means it cuts by 5th digit or 6th digit. 
that's what it is going to take so that in manufacturing when you go for after decimal when you go for so many values then system is going to have accuracy how much quantity you would require that accuracy you will be getting if you consider 0.3 only what about 0 0.0333 something is there already you are neglecting that but that is the value when it is bulk it is going to be huge that is the reason to have the exact values you are going to calculate the inverse okay so 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 is fixed 0.5 but 1 by 3 is not fixed it's 0 0.33333 3 something infinity this is very important question what is value and what is the importance of inverse inverse the importance is when it's not divisible 1 by 2 is equal 0 0.5 but 1 by 3 is not equivalent to 0 0.3 it is something else when you have something which is not divisible then you have we are going to have infinity value after decimal that has to be cut up to what digits you can take six seven whatever it may be to get the inverse value and what are the material required exactly for our how many items are produced are utilized everything will be exactly calculated in the manufacturing process this is what m meant for machine l for lab like that we have first operation that is lot basis but the second basis it's not lot basis let us see that see run item basis machine 5 labor the same thing we have seen at 10th operation that is setup but this is not setup it is run when you run machine starts and job goes on when job goes on it job it runs for one hour how many items are produced you would say see one three one nine two six one two four one four the inverse of this value is this you know something you know either this or this or that so then what happened whatever you know you enter inverse can be calculated so that this inverse value will be taken into consider 0 0.261214 which is there after decimal that will be considered all the ways whenever bomb is required to you want exact quantity that quantity can be calculated by considering that after decimal how many digits should they consider that will be taken into consideration this is how we have now this is what discrete job we discussed but let us create one job and let us complete that I'm going to create new job new job press tab it will create a number this is what the number assembly assembly is this I want to manufacture this item take that item then class this is very important thing we are going to discuss what is class in the setup but it will be defaulted right now how it is defaulting it is standard job or non-standard what is standard what is non-standard what is standard what is non standard very important question whenever you go for work order what is standard means a car you are buying a car let us say you are buying maruti alto maruti 800 when you say maruti 800 whether you buy myself you know if i have car both the maruti suzuki alto cars are same means what there is a standard bills of material and there is a standard item whoever buys the same item will be there but not standard you buy something you bought let us say Ferrari your Ferrari is different my Ferrari is different it is customized means what as per the customer order we are going to manipulate somebody requires car means four tires somebody requires back I want four tires at back only means front tires again two that means you are going to have six tires which it is customized one somebody most of the bikes you might be knowing this somebody takes pulsar hmm? then he makes back should look like this you know you'd go to garage and he walk he asks some workman worker to change the model the pulsar should look like Yamaha 
the Yamaha should look like something else. I can do that. That's what non-standard. When you customize as per the requirement of the customer, then that is non-standard. Standard means as per bills of material, whatever is there, we have to utilize and get it done. Non-standard, you are deviating from the standard. Okay, we have different statuses here. What are the different statuses? Unreal is released on hold, complete, closed. We have how much quantity? Um, I want thousand items to be manufactured. Start by today. It's up to you. I want to start by today. Now, save it. saved we got the number let us take it it is unreleased status but somebody has to work on this job number then it has to be released it first until and unless it is released you cannot start the work in real situation save it now the job number is this okay now it is saved records applied now take this job number i have taken already let us simulate the job okay if you go to see i told you already from sales order if you have something has to be manufactured this job is going to be manufactured against sales order if you create work order from sales order then sales order reference will be here that sales order number will be defaulted or let us say out of thousand quantities that is there manufacturing order i want to reserve 400 for one sales order remaining 600 for another sales order then you have to enter first sales order and what is the quantity you have to reserve it then second sales order what is the quantity you have to reserve it and that's it that is how the link the moment you complete this job and the moment you get this much quantity already it will be reserved against the customer against the sales order that's it means you are going to reserve the item by clicking the sales order enter the sales orders and all the items will be reserved against those customers to match this item what are the operations these are operations which we discussed already what are the parameters you would require you can see but quantity is available or not check the quantity quantity is available i think quantity is available but this item is having shortfall for the many things this is also having some shortfall you have to get the on stand on hand quantity if you are not having on hand quantity you are not going to complete this job because to make that much quantity you would require this much quantity but you have only this much quantity which is less than required you would require to bring some quantity by purchasing in case it is raw material if it is sub assembly you have to manufacture even that item also Okay, now let us see quickly. Released, taken the job number, close it. I told you this job is having how many operations? 10 to 90. Let us complete all the operations. Okay, now close this. When I want to move from one operation to another operation, in real time, in the manufacturing plan, they start the work at 10th operation. Uh, how long it takes? Once they completed 10th operation, they are going to do like this. Move transaction. You have to move from one operation to another plan, another another operation. How we are going to do that? I'm going to show you here. okay this is more transaction we have to enter the job number one we have taken the job number enter then sequence number from and to see all those operations have come so job quantity is thousand where it is at the 10th operation that it is in a queue 
But run, what is run? What is to move? What is reject? What is scrap? While performing one first operation, you start at 1000. Does it mean the thousands are successful? No. In the manufacturing, sometimes due to wrong handling or due to the uh, less quality raw material, you may face some situations where some items will be failed, cannot be used. You are going to scrap it. You are going to reject it. You are going to complete it sometimes. Sometimes you are running. You have not completed that. That's what, whatever it may be, the first one is queue operation, next one is run, next one is to move, next reject. Scrap, reject and scrap are optional. If you want, if you feel that, what are the item you got at the end of to move? To move is ending. Run means continuous, continuous. It is continuing, okay? Queue means it is in the queue. Next is this much. When after completing to move, you should be able to decide whether that is acceptable or not. If it is acceptable, no issues. If it's not acceptable, reject it. Rework it. It is not reworkable, then scrap it. You got it. So let us move from first operation Q to 20th operation. I want to complete. Select. You want to complete successfully? Then to move. Select to move. How much quantity? Out of thousand, how much quantity? You are completed. Let us say I complete only hundred. Save it. Saved. Now, again, enter the job number. Find. If you see, see. Out of 1000, 900 are at Q and 100 has been moved to to move. What does it mean? To move means completed or completion of that particular operation. I have moved from 10 to 20. How much quantity? 100 to move up to 20. So that has come to 20th operation. Now from 20, I want to move to 30. Is it completed successfully? Yes, let us say. I move to completion. How much? 100. The same 100 I am going to complete. Save it. Now again same job number. When really it's not as simple as this, you know. Real time they have to run the machine for hours. So for hours it will be like this only at 10th operation only. For our purpose of course. For us it is simply running on the laptop. Simply. But if you go to in real time production system in the machine you know at the machine there is a table on the machine on the table there is a laptop where oracle application will be opened and the production guy the moment he starts he clicks he opens operation 10th then he keeps run instead of to move i will show you here now let us say i am going to start from 30 now it is not to move it is run Okay, or you have completed this 20th operation, 30th operation, 40th you are not completed, See, instead you are running, you are not completed, then you have to keep run. How many items? 100? Yes, out of 100, I am going to start 100. Oh my god, what happened? Okay, how much quantity? 100. Save it. Control S and save it. Again, enter the job number. Fine. See? Then what happened? At run, 100 has been reached. Now I want to complete this 40. From run to, you want to complete 40 only? It's up to you. Only, you are not yet started 50. Then you want to complete. To move, select. How much quantity? 100. Save it. Control S. Then you enter the same job number. Fine. Let us see where it is available. See, it is available at to move at 40th operation. Now, select from 40th operation. I want to complete these 100. 50. But what happened, you know? I want to, out of 100, I rejected 25. How much quantity? Let us say 25. Save it. Then what happened? Let us see. Select operations 
have got it what happened instead of having to move at 100 25 you have rejected rejected means rejected rejection we have 25 this 25 can be reworked when until and unless you scrap it scrap cannot be reworked but rejection you rejected due to some defect you correct it but scrap no correction simply throw it out that's it now i want to rework 25 from reject to i want to complete 50th operation successfully let us say i want to select it to move so how much quantity 25 now save it now let us see this is the job number this is the sequence from c what happened you completed right so that 25 from the rejection it has come to this much now i want to complete all the 100 for 75 are at 40th operation i want to move it to 50th operation so to move successfully completed let us say now how much quantity is 75 available 75 control s then enter the job number press tab enter the sequence if you see 100 is available at 50 i want to select 100 from 60 i scrap it now not reject neither to reject not to move so i instead i scrap when you scrap it asks the account number have you observed why scrap means not usable how much quantity i'm going to scrap 25 let us say 25 then 25 multiplied by item cost that much value wasted you you wasted that much value that means that has to be tracked in one particular account what is that account you have to find out you have to select this is how you have to select the account number then if you want to see the account number see this is how you are not supposed to be petty cash okay actual account will be different so any account that relevant account you have to select that is the concept here you have to understand select so there is a reason somewhere you have to enter reason where is the reason yeah this is the reason okay mark uh, some reason we have to scrap whites let us see save it then only it accepts scrap means not usable it is wasted so that much value should go to adjustment account what is that account that account you are going to enter this account debit or credit you have scrapped right means inventory items have been decreased scrap means you wasted inventory items decrease it means negative has gone to inventory material account debit the positive value is going to be with this account that's it you save it it is saving it's saved now let us see the job see the sequence now scrap if you scroll to right side scrap i am not going to touch 25 are wasted i am not going to touch i am going to touch only 75 to move from i want to complete all the operations at once 60 70 80 i want to complete select this to move it's up to you in one shot you want to select but in real time one by one it happens and it takes it's not as simple as this it runs for hours it runs for days machine runs for on the same job they run for they keep it open on the laptop or the system for hours for hours for days save it then enter the job number sorry enter the job number now i want to complete final up to 90 completing up to 90 let us say to move but what is 90 you know 90 is inspection we already saw that right now save it this time okay now let us see you inspected let us see where it is at the final operation we have this much quantity okay 
there is nothing to do now see i want to move from two more to two more you got a message 90 to 90 how can you move already you completed 90 why why you would like to move from one the same operation to same operation for the same operation sequence you cannot move assemblies within the same operations from step to move to to move if the operation is same then you can move from run to move or q to run run to move q to move or q to reject q to scrap reject to scrap whatever it may be can do that but same operation same to move to move it won't happen it's nothing it's not required even close this all the operations are completed now right all the operations are completed now what is the next all the operations are completed does it mean that you got the finished good no until and unless you have you do this completion transaction you cannot do that you worked for 100 items only let us see this is a job number press tab when you press tab you can see in the right hand side out of thousand thousand you have only 75 completed 25 have been scrapped have you remembered that so you are eligible to complete only 75 available to seven available for completion is 75 now click on continue you have to enter what sub inventory and what locator let us say i'm going to use this sub inventory locator and how many yards the available quantity is zero and what is the quantity i want to complete how much quantity 75 only you can complete only 75 final completion then that's it if you want to save it if you click then lot serial number will be asked because it is lot control item so you have to enter lot number otherwise it won't let us let us see it is asking or not when you click done it is asking lot or serial number point it does not match it is lot controlled item so it is showing 75 item but you are you didn't enter any lot number here so let us enter the lot number let us say my lot number is like say b a this is the lot number let us say for how much quantity 75 that's it done done then what happens you know the moment you click done zero just watch you know just observe this just look at only zero okay available zero on hand zero now how much it becomes let us look at these two fields zero field only these two fields i am going to save it okay just look at zeros okay it's going to be updated or not check it out just look at zeros okay. okay you couldn't see that but if you go to on hand quantity for this item now if you go to inventory that's it you got the item quantity if you go to inventory completed this is what final if you go to on hand quantity it is asking for organization booster okay and what is the item this is the item let us take what is the item quantity in that particular sub inventory what sub inventory you used in that sub inventory you have to see the quantity and what is the sub inventory on detail and lot details and everything what sub inventory we used is wip i think right wip finch should i think this is the one okay let us find out now see it is there lot just know i did how much 75 you got the quantity over this is how manufacturing goes on this is how manufacturing goes on 